My name is Kate Crane. I'm from England in the United Kingdom. Welcome to my video for gel press. I often use monoprinting in my art journal. Here's some pages I've done. I quite often work on loose leaf card and then I'll put them into a larger scrapbook style journal here. Sometimes I work directly onto journal pages. Here's some I've made recently. These will end up in my journal. Here's one of my favourite reds and slightly different colours on this one and here's the one I'm going to show you right from scratch. Now this page like all of my pages went through a really really messy stage. I'm going to show you how to pull it round, how to finish it off with all of my favourite things. Lots of colour, gel printing, art journaling, doodling all rolled into one. Come and join me, let's have some messy fun. on my large 12 by 14 gel press plate. I could work on a smaller one you'll see because I don't really ever use the whole size. I've picked out a few stencils at the ready just for a bit of pattern. I've got a couple of texture stamps at the ready. I might also use some paper punches. This will make um, masks that I can use on my backgrounds. I'm going to be using medium body paint so I've picked out some Dina Wakely paints. Sometimes though I do mix across brands. I'm going to also use um, an Amsterdam and I've got my brayer at the ready. I'm working on two craft mats. I want to roll my paint on here first before putting it on the plate so I can get some nice thin layers and I'm working on um, a super smooth coated card. I've got nothing on it no gesso I'm going straight on. So I'm going to start with a light colour of lemon. I'm going to show you how I build up my very colourful backgrounds with lots and lots of thin layers of paint. So I'm starting with the lightest colour. And most of this will get covered up with more layers so I'm keeping it very very light, very patchy. I'm hardly pressing and there's my first layer. I'm going to add some lime. So starting to build up now, just a bit more. Before I add my next colour, I'm going to just cut some circles. I'm going to use these as masks. Now I'm just going to take these off. You can see that's left me with a, a design and I'm going to just focus that in the corner. So I won't press the whole thing down and you can see I've got some quite strong circle designs there. 
and I'm going to repeat that in the other corner. I'm just going to cut a little scallop mask here. I'm going in freehand. As I quite like that slightly wonky look. And I'm going to use this as a mask down the edge. And now I'm going to just print down this edge. That's given me a nice little scallop design to play with. Thank you. 